Drones are unmanned aircraft. They are essentially robots that fly through the air. No human pilot sits inside the cockpit. Instead, they are controlled remotely by operators on the ground. Sometimes, these drones can even fly pre-programmed missions autonomously. Many countries around the world now use these versatile machines. They are becoming increasingly common in both military and civilian applications. Most countries today utilize drones for a variety of military purposes. They are often sent high into the sky to watch enemy movements. This critical task is known as surveillance. Drones also gather detailed information and intelligence. This is called reconnaissance. Some drones are designed to carry weapons, such as missiles or bombs. These armed drones can perform targeted strikes against specific objectives. These current drones, however, are generally not known for extreme speed. Hypersonic is a term that means incredibly fast. It describes speeds greater than five times the speed of sound. Scientists and engineers refer to this as Mach 5. To put this into perspective, consider the famous Concorde supersonic jet. The Concorde flew at about Mach 2, which is twice the speed of sound. Hypersonic speeds are more than double even that impressive velocity. Think about a bullet fired from a high-powered rifle. Many hypersonic systems travel even faster than that. This extreme speed fundamentally alters military equations. Flying at very low altitudes makes drones exceptionally difficult to detect. Radar systems are the primary tools for scanning the skies for intruders. However, the Earth has a natural curvature. Objects flying low can hide below the radar's line of sight. This is known as the radar horizon. Furthermore, natural and man-made obstacles like hills, mountains, and buildings can block radar signals. This effect is called terrain masking. Hypersonic drones that fly low to the ground combine their stealthy approach with their incredible speed. This makes them a profound challenge for any existing defense system trying to track or intercept them. The concept of a swarm introduces a new dimension to drone operations. This is not simply about deploying many individual drones, instead these drones are designed to connect with each other. They form an intelligent, coordinated network in the sky. They can share information among themselves almost instantly. This allows them to coordinate their actions, much like a well-drilled team. Imagine a flock of birds moving in perfect unison, or a swarm of bees attacking a target together. Now picture those swarms made of advanced, weaponized machines. This capability represents a significant leap in military technology. A swarm of drones is significantly more dangerous than a single drone or missile. A lone incoming threat, even a fast one, can often be targeted and neutralized by modern defenses. However, a swarm can easily overwhelm these same defense systems. There are simply too many targets arriving from too many directions simultaneously. Some drones within the swarm might act as decoys, confusing defenders. Others might be equipped for electronic warfare, jamming enemy sensors. The sheer numerical superiority of a swarm presents an immense challenge. It makes a successful defense incredibly difficult to achieve. The combination of hypersonic speed and swarm tactics is particularly formidable. Drones flying low are already challenging to detect due to radar limitations. Adding hypersonic speed to this equation drastically reduces warning times for defenders. Instead of minutes, response times can shrink to mere seconds. Tracking a single hypersonic object is an incredibly demanding task for current sensor technology. Attempting to track, identify, and engage an entire swarm of such fast-moving targets is almost an impossible feat. They move too quickly and often too low for many existing systems to handle effectively. This synergy of speed and numbers creates a potent threat. Moreover, swarm drones possess a degree of collective intelligence and adaptability. They are designed to communicate and react to changing battlefield conditions. If one drone in the swarm is damaged or destroyed, others can often take over its role. The swarm can dynamically reroute its attack or reassign tasks among its members. This distributed intelligence means the swarm can continue its mission effectively. This resilience is a crucial characteristic of advanced swarm technology. It makes them very difficult to stop completely, as the loss of individual units does not necessarily cripple the overall attack. This cooperative lethality is a new level of danger. The advent of hypersonic swarm drones poses a severe threat to existing air defense systems. Sophisticated defenses like the United States Patriot Missile System, or the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, are highly capable. 
Naval fleets rely on systems like Aegis to protect them from aerial and missile attacks. However, these systems were primarily designed to counter a smaller number of less sophisticated threats, like traditional ballistic or cruise missiles. A massive coordinated swarm of hypersonic drones presents a fundamentally different and more complex challenge. These defenses could be saturated by the sheer volume and speed of incoming targets. Traditional defense systems face a multitude of problems when confronted with hypersonic swarms. They require a certain amount of time to detect, track, and lock onto an incoming target before launching an interceptor. Hypersonic drones, due to their extreme speed, leave defenders with very little of this precious time. Their low-altitude flight paths keep them hidden from radar detection for longer periods. If they are also maneuverable, as many new designs are, hitting them becomes even harder. A swarm multiplies these challenges manifold, presenting potentially dozens or even hundreds of such difficult targets simultaneously. The defensive systems would likely be overwhelmed, unable to engage every threat effectively. China is investing enormous resources into developing hypersonic technology, including swarm drones. A primary motivation for this pursuit is to challenge the long-standing military superiority of other global powers, particularly the United States. For decades, the United States has enjoyed significant technological and strategic advantages. China views hypersonic weapons as a potential way to level the playing field. These weapons are often described as carrier killers due to their potential to threaten large naval vessels. They could also target critical military bases from long distances. This capability could significantly shift the global balance of military power. More specifically, China has clear strategic objectives for this technology. A key goal is to establish and enforce anti-access and area denial, or A2-AD capabilities. This strategy aims to prevent an adversary, like the United States, from operating its military forces freely near China's coastline, or in regions China considers vital to its interests. Hypersonic swarm drones are ideally suited for such a strategy. They could pose a credible threat to United States aircraft carrier strike groups operating in the Pacific. They could also hold United States military bases in places like Guam or Japan at risk. This technology directly supports China's ambitions to become the dominant power in its region and perhaps beyond. The proliferation of hypersonic swarm drone technology could fundamentally reshape the future of warfare. It has the potential to trigger a new and dangerous arms race. As one nation develops these capabilities, others will undoubtedly rush to create their own versions. Countries will also invest heavily in developing countermeasures and defenses against such weapons. This action-reaction cycle can lead to escalating military competition and instability. The very nature of armed conflict could change, with speed, automation, and information dominance becoming even more critical. Warfare might become significantly faster, more complex, and potentially more destructive. Understandably, many international observers and policymakers are deeply concerned about these developments. Hypersonic swarm drones are considered highly destabilizing for several reasons. Their extreme speed and the difficulty of defending against them could lower the threshold for initiating a conflict. In a crisis, political leaders might feel pressured to strike first, fearing a devastating attack from an adversary. The short flight times leave little to no room for de-escalation, diplomacy, or even error correction. Furthermore, there are growing concerns about the role of artificial intelligence or AI in controlling these swarms. If AI makes critical targeting decisions, human control over warfare is diminished, raising profound ethical and legal questions. Developing effective defenses against hypersonic swarms presents an enormous technological and financial challenge. It requires entirely new types of sensors capable of detecting and tracking multiple low-flying, ultra-fast objects. New interceptor missiles or directed energy weapons would also be needed. The doctrines and strategies for their use would need to be rethought. The financial cost of engaging in this new technological arms race will be staggering for all nations involved. There is also a significant risk of miscalculation or accidental conflict. An incident involving these weapons could escalate rapidly, with potentially devastating consequences for global security. Ultimately, the development of hypersonic swarm drones matters to everyone, not just military strategists or defense officials. It has profound implications for global stability, international security, and the future of peace. The emergence of this technology signals a major shift in military paradigms, potentially ushering in a new era of high-tech, high-speed warfare. Urgent international discussions and arms control efforts are needed to address this challenge. 
establishing rules, norms, and perhaps treaties might be necessary to manage the proliferation and deployment of these powerful new weapons. The future safety and security of the world may depend on our collective ability to manage this technology wisely and responsibly.